Alrighty, so these are the parts for the carburetor. Um, I, think there's, I think there's two of them, but these are the little pieces. So there's a couple pieces there that are the cardboard, and then there is the piece of paper that goes over top. All these pieces have been cut out and colored on the edge, you know, like we always do. And there's the uh, just gluing these pieces together. I'm trying to show this one step by step because it's a small kind of painful part to make. Not painful, but usually I kind of show these. I've already made them, but I thought, okay, um, I'll show you making this basically straight through, and you'll see that uh, it's not too bad. Um, anyway, put the uh, glue on the other piece. There's two pieces. Those are sort of the top and the bottom. They're going to give it a, give it a shape. So I grab, got to find it. I grab the other piece of paper and put it, or the other piece of cardboard, and then sandwich those together and make sure they are glued. So again, that's top and bottom. The part with the circles on there is going to be the top. It's going to go up. And then this little piece is just a fold-over piece. I've, I've scored it, folded over in the center, put some glue on it, and this basically is a stand that's going to go underneath. That light gray part that's on that hot dog shape piece, that's where that's going to go. And I guess it lifts it up a little bit on the side of the crankcase. I just squeeze that shut. So those are pieces that are sort of, uh, you know, initially the first pieces you put together. And all this is on the directions in, pay in picture. So you're just following this. And that long skinny piece there is going to be sort of the body. And so you can see what I'm trying to do here is curl it because it has to go around those pieces. So I curled it as best I could and I ended up gluing these edges together. I actually tried it by putting this around the uh, those tops and bottoms. So in other words, the top and bottom were were, were you know inside inlaid. When I did that, the that that piece that makes the body was not long enough. They left a big gap, probably a millimeter or two. So I realized I guess it's just supposed to sandwich on top. That's why I did that. I glued that sleeve around. It's drying while it's drying. There's two teeny weeny pieces here. That are going to be the tops, the little like tent top on, on the top of, of each of the carburetor bells, I guess the float bowl housings. So what I did was take something that was conical, in this case just a uh, pencil tip, and I just roll it on my finger. And what that does is make that piece of paper curl around and actually put some glue into it. And you end up with a little tiny sort of, um, um, it looks like a little circus tent. Um, and there it is. There's one. It's hard to get off because there's glue on it. There's one, and then there's the other one right there. And you can see that it looks like a little Pac-Man, and that's so that when you twirl it around, it'll come together. Now, I checked to see that piece of aluminum tubing is about the same size, what needs to be, uh, or what the, the, the same curve as the top and bottom. So I'm kind of trying to form the outside piece, the body, as best I can to make it kind of be pre-shaped. And then I just put these one on one, one on one on top, one on bottom. And again, the one with the three circles that you can see, two of those will be for carburetors, the other two will be for um, some uh, intake manifold uh, stuff that we haven't built yet. So put one there, and then the bottom one just goes on the bottom side. Um, and again, I that's the best I can do for, for, for those. And you can see that little gray piece, that is the bottom side that's been glued on, and then uh, where that gray piece go or is is located, that's where that little stand goes. That's that little piece that we right there that I'm picking up that we worked on last time, or that we folded over and glued initially. So that goes on there, and that gives you a little bit of a step, and I suppose that will help when it comes to actually getting it uh, attached to the side of the crankcase. So there's sort of the main body done. Um, and there's the two little carburetor pieces. Now, the, there's the carburetor pieces are going to go in there and I'm using pulled sprue for those because I again tried to use some the paper provided and I butchered it. It's very difficult to do. So I just glued these on with super glue and I gotta go back and paint them later. But they just glue on. Now on top of each of those, there's two of them that go on there, there's a little tiny extra piece of paper. 
that's sort of the back side of that little conical piece. And then you put the conical piece on top of that. Now what I neglected to do was, I forgot, there's one more piece of curl that's supposed to go around that to make the base of the carburetor bell sort of bigger. When you see mine done there, I'm just, I, took, I licked my, my tongue, I licked the, the, the knife and just popped it right on there. And there's one of the little top bell housing on, on there. But when you look at it, it looks like a mushroom at this point. And there's a stem that it shouldn't be that skinny. And there I'm just coloring some edges. So there it is, but I'm not all that happy with it, um, as you can see there. The next carburetor make will be better. Anyway, there I put it on the engine, and now we're transitioning to making uh, spark plug wires. And you can see this side I already did. I got spark plug wires on the magneto, and then they go to a housing, and they find their way then up into where I think, as best I can figure out, where the spark plug wire spark plugs would go. Now, I didn't make specific spark plugs on this. I just glued the wire directly. Small enough would be okay. Now, for the shroud, I took a square piece of sprue and heat it and pulled it, and you end up with a square, you know, rectangular cross-section piece. And that's what's going to go on the base of the cylinder, and that's where all of the spark plug wires emanate from. I think it's, you could have them uh, naked, I think. It's going to go right there on either side. The other side, again, is already on. Um, I, I think in, in a lot of engines, they just have them just uh, naked out in the breeze. But in some, they go from the magneto into this shroud, helps things hold together and be neat, and then they go up. I just end up using some brownish thread, a little puddle of super glue. And what I do is I take six of them, because they're six per magneto, and I just glue them to the end of that piece of plastic. Um, and you just sort of methodically add these one after the other and you put them at the end and some you got to put a little further in just so you have a pigtail sticking out and uh, there we are um, with six of them on the end and you know you're cheating kind of I'll put a little, little uh, zip kicker on there to, to solidify everything and you know you're kind of cheating but um, you're just trying to make it look like there's actual spark plug wires going in that shroud now I'm putting some glue where the shroud is going to go, and it goes all the way across the cylinders. And the portent ones, I guess, are the other two end pieces. Slide that in with the pigtails out back towards the magneto. At this point, I'm just noticing my camera placement is about as worse as it could get. Anyway, um, making sure that thing is touching and will dry and look good. And then it's basically a matter of taking each of those spark plug wires and cutting them to size, snipping them to size, and then sticking them onto the magneto. And there's little dots on the magneto that show where they're supposed to go. Now, I don't have them in firing order, uh, but I get them so that they, they sort of make sense. So I take my little scissors and I cut off because these things are actually considerably longer than they need to be. And then I uh, take my uh, tweezers and I fold this up and I'll just put it on one of the little spots on the magneto and that'll be where it will connect. And in this case, I, I'm going to use again um, the thick super glue to glue these on. You could use the white glue as well. Might be a better option, but uh, I ended up using this. Put a little glue on the end of the, of the spark plug wire and then put up here and attach it. And it's kind of hard to do because the distances are very short. And you're trying to make a nice kind of looped flow. It's, it's not easy. So here I'm checking this, the, the, the length of that one. It's too long again. So I kind of eyeball it and I take a little bit off with my scissors. And then uh, do the same old thing. A little glue in this case on the magneto turned out to work out okay. And then I take this wire, this piece of thread that looks like a spark plug wire and lay it on the magneto and I got it, it, it it's it's hard to get it to kind of stick into where you want it to stick so I ended up taking an exacto blade and getting that close and then taking the exacto blade and sort of um, um, holding it in place so here I putting it down and then I pushed down with the exacto blade into the glue and then it stuck pretty well so you do it with all of them here I'm on one more to go I spared you all those terrible details 
and um, again cutting it and making sure it fits. This is all stuff that people complain about that you're never going to see. In this case, because the engine's out, I mean, it's under the top wing, but it's a main focus of this particular model. So you got to sort of try to make this look as nice as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect, in my opinion. I mean, I'm, I'm not as good as a lot of people are at these things. But it looks nice to have them on. You would notice it if they were not there. And it just takes a little time. Uh, if you've built one of these paper models, you've got enough enough skill to put on spark plug wires. So there it is. Um, oh yeah, that's a piece that was stuck on there. Yeah, I panicked. I thought something was loose, but it wasn't. But there they are, both sides, and they kind of go up in a nice flowing pattern, kind of stuff I've seen before. And uh, they look good. So now the next thing is to take wire, it's take, take some and put it like this, attach it one eye, one eye and then one part on the shroud and then up at the top of each cylinder, um, based on pictures, of where they should go. So that's what I do here. The spark plug wires are down there. I put them in a little puddle of glue and I started by sticking them down on the shroud, six of them, just go right on down the line. I've seen different pictures of these engines, and they're in different locations. Um, I don't know how accurate any of it is, so I basically put it in the center of each cylinder, lined them up, and put them on the shroud that at the part that looks about the center of each cylinder. Just glue them in place. You can see this is pretty quick and easy to do. Um, and then once they're all glued in place, all you're going to do is put some glue on the other side, or on the cylinder where you want to attach it and then go ahead and put that in. So here I am putting some glue on a, an edge. I tried that first. So I put a little glue on the piece of yarn, thread, and then I go up here and I stick it on the top of the cylinder where it should go. Now it's amorphous where it's supposed to go. I can't really tell. But again, the idea is that your brain will sort of fill in the missing pieces and it will look really cool when it's done. I notice this building plastic models too, especially like 170 second scale. If they're not perfect, the detail, your eyes and your brain fill in a lot of stuff and it looks more, looks crazier than, than it really is. Anyway, there they are. Um, and here's the whole engine. We've still got some manifold stuff to do, but uh, man, um, I gotta say that it's looking pretty sharp. Um, both sides looking okay. Manifolds and some stuff for uh, cooling has to has to be added, and the engine will be um, complete. But look at that. I got I got no complaints. It looks really nice when you set it on the um, engine mount too. Like I said, it looks plenty busy. Looks cool. Um, and considering it was all flat paper a little while ago, that's. Uh, that's not a bad uh, return on investment. I like it.